Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a liquid lipstick swatch video slash review slash which is my favorite liquid lipstick. We have Kat Von D, Huda Beauty, Kylie, Anastasia, Ofra and Dose of Colors. So if you're interested to see all these liquid lipsticks swatched on my lips and then just to let you know a little bit more about the formula, which is my favorites, which are not favorites, keep on watching. I never used to like liquid lip. And the reason for that, it's because I do have chronically dry lips. And I, they used to make my lips so dry and crunkly. But lately, I'm in love. Let's start with the Kylie. Kylie Lip Kit. The packaging looks like that. I like the packaging, but for me, it's a little bit more like towards like Yangi's kind of like type, if you know what I mean. But it's to their own. And um, I have the ones in Coco K and the ones in Posy K. Tofu applicator. Smells like, I don't know, artificial butterscotch or something like that. Something caramelly, but a little bit more artificial and it says here made in usa i can't even see do i need glasses word of advice before you go with any liquid lip make sure your lips are not dry exfoliate well using a sugar scrub sugar with oil mix it or a lip mask or whatever and then follow with a balm of your choice my favorite it's the bite agave balm which it's life now, let's start with the Coco K and make sure you shake well because liquid lipsticks, they do tend to separate and you don't want that, right? You want the full color. That's a standard pinkish nude and that is Coco K. Next, we're moving to Posy K that looks like that. And this is Posy K. My advice of this, do not use too much. If you use too much of this, they can be extremely, extremely drying. And um, I don't know, it just, it doesn't look right. Um, just use as less as possible and it will work for you. Next shade I've got is the Huda Beauty Liquid mattes the packaging looks like that very frosty very um, beautiful i have in video star cheerleader and heartbreaker now i love uh, the packaging of this you get a dog food applicator again and the scent it's like candy my husband said i think it's bubble gum i don't know the first color i'm swatching it's cheerleader That is cheerleader. Next one is heartbreaker. Work on that beauty blender. And last one is video star. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but that's my favorite of all. It's the same. They have a little bit more moussey formula than the Kylie ones. The Kylie, I found them a little bit more thinner. They do layer well, so after a long time of use, I like them. Because you need to do what you need to do. My recent purchases, the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. I watched many YouTubers that they rave about this, so I thought to give them a go. I got them in two shades. This is the Kiss of Fire and this is Bury Me. So let's watch these ones first one we'll start with the kiss of fire that is a fire red obviously that's why the kiss of fire
kind of leaning like cherry red i don't know if the camera picks it up properly but it's gorgeous it's the most fiery red ever and the dog food applicator of those it's quite different beautiful frosted packaging i like it next one i've got it's in the shade bury me and it's a berry color are you gonna open thank you And it's a berry color. I heard there was berry me number one and berry me number two. This is the number one one. So berry. So I'm going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I have two shades of hers. I have Sad Girl and Paint and I featured this before and they look like that. I forget to mention that the Dots of Colors, for me they don't have a scent. Unless, I can't, I can't smell anything anyway. Anyway, back to the Anastasia. The Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, they have an artificial kind of scent. I'm not really a fan of the Dofu Double Gary. Oh, that took a lot here. What happened? Let's go with the most popular Sad Girl. I like this color but it is a little bit tricky wearing it for a long time it is a little bit tricky next one is paint that blue with metallic undertones as well oh that smells better maybe i should chuck sad girl Moving on to Kat Von D. I have three shades of Kat Von D. I have Agogo, Exorcism and Aesa. And um, the packaging, I adore. Look at the packaging. Very slick, very Kat Von D-ish. I love it. I love, love, love it. And it made in USA. And the dog food applicator. It's quite long though. But I love like the design of it. It's like the most unique, beautiful packaging. And this is a gogo -go vibrant orange shade. And if you like a good orange, this one is for you. This one's the Kat Von D ones, it's the thinnest formula and it's extremely long-lasting long and correcting me if i'm wrong i think it was the first maybe company that launched liquid lipstick that type of lipsticks at least the first company that i personally knew next one is aisa and it's um, a cool tone purple And the last of Kat Von D, but not, not least, is Exorcism. And that is deep, like, it's like a plum burgundy color. If you're on a dark lip, do I say more? They're the most lost lasting ones. They don't budge. I mean, yeah. And the last but not least is from Ofra Cosmetics um, and in the color Napa Valley, which I never heard of, of course, before I started doing YouTube. But that is a beautiful, like purple, metallic. It has beautiful undertones. So the packaging looks like that. Dofoot applicator.
the Ofra cosmetics they're more moussey um and uh like they're more kind of like moussey kind of like uh lip overall guys my thoughts now it's a time where i will let you know my top favorites all the kat von d that i have oh my god the kat von d are amazing probably it's it's the thinnest formula but probably it's the most long lasting liquid lipsticks that i have ever tried they don't budge and when i say they don't budge they don't budge and i love all these three colors aisha the purple one agogo choice and exorcism amazing just amazing next one guys i've got the dose of colors and i love both of them those are my next pick uh they're beautiful they're not streaky they're very comfortable they don't budge as well and they don't accentuate your uh lines like this does they look beautiful comfortable they don't accentuate your lines as i said and beautiful love love both these two colors kiss of fire and bury me you need to try this third place for me they're the huda beauty and the reason for that it's because the other ones they were more long long lasting and transfer proof and these ones i can have some more transfer i would say so video star cheerleader and heartbreaker definitely recommend those anastasia i do like the paint i'm obsessed with this color as you see in a lot of my videos this one i did like it at the start but it's quite streaky so no the kylie uh, lip kits or whatever cosmetics the coco k is good but very very drying um i don't know it just doesn't doesn't look good on my lipstick this is all, all right too but i don't know the coco k is a little bit better than this ofra now this one this one is a stunning color but for me it, it transfers a lot doesn't stay long i don't like the consistency and it accentuate my lines so love the color don't like the consistency that's all my thoughts guys if you like i hope you like this video on my swatches and my liquid lipsticks and what i like what i don't and if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe and let me know which is your favorite or if you have another brand that i haven't tried that i need to try uh anyway love you so much until next time Mwah. bye